Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is day 895. If you're new here, my name's Mark and this is my 987 first generation Porsche Cayman. The weather's been really good this last week so I thought I'd take the opportunity this morning. Alarm set for a quarter past five, it's now half past six. All set for a blast on some nice empty South Downs roads. Just over a week ago, I had new tyres fitted to this all round. N-rated PS2s on 17 inch rims, so quite thin, 2A5s on the front, 235s on the back. Now, I've had tyres on these rims for a while, but they've never been the balanced N-rated Porsche tyres. So, um, had these put on a week ago. I've done a few hundred miles since, just drove at home, parked it up last week, went out for a bit of an early blast, like I have this morning. Just enjoying it. First thing I want to mention is about the tyres, more specifically the tyre fitters, Little Hampton tyres. They did something that's never ever happened to me before when having tyres fitted, and that is that I got home, I checked the tyre pressures, and they were absolutely spot on. You know the drill, you go and get a new set of tyres, you tell them, can you make sure the tyre pressures are correct? So I want this, I want that. And they always come back, 33 all round. This came back, 30 at the front, 37 on the back. Perfect. Another thing I'll mention, which isn't desperately exciting, but this is a Porsche uh, Cayman ownership vlog, so there you go. And that's about the toe eye cover. So I took it out this morning to mount the camera in there. And it's well, about the toe eye cover. It's more about Porsche build quality in general. I took the toe eye cover out, and it was only when I, I, I put it on the side in the kitchen, and I thought, I've not broken it yet. I think in every single car I've ever owned, in taking the toe eye cover out, at some point, one of the lugs or the tether strap that's molded onto it has broken off. And yet, this thing I've taken out countless times. It's really, really well built, molded, I should say. Um, it's it's, it's um, withstood the test of time. And that's typical, really, of the build quality. All of the, um, you know, opening these door bins, the way this all fits together, they're so well screwed together, these cars. And the, um, the toe eye, that's typical. impressions my first reaction when I walked up to the car was the sidewalls they just look so big more so than the 17s that I had on it before they seem really bulbous at the side as well so they promise a good ride but let's not forget they are Porsche N rated so they're meant to work with this chassis they're meant to work with the base Cayman they're meant to work with the smaller engine car they are so comfortable to drive on those sidewalls are really pliant, they're really plush. Um, you do get a sense that the car is, you know, bouncing around a huge amount. But it really deals with all of the, um, the smaller road imperfections superbly. They've given me the front end that I was lacking on the, uh, the Hankooks when I went to Blyton last year on my 17s in an effort to kill those tyres. Didn't get anywhere near because they had no grip. I had no front end whatsoever, two or three laps of Blight and Park, and the front was starting to push, there was no saving it. This though, I haven't really managed yet to push them into even um, the slightest understeer, so it seems that I've got a really, really positive front end again. I'm 
compared to what I had before. These have got so much traction, but not so much that if I get the car loaded up, I'm not gonna get a chance to do it on these roads, but that if I get the car loaded up, the rear isn't there for me, isn't mobile off the throttle. The other thing this has done, these tires have done, I mean, is that PASM, the active suspension management in sport mode, on the road, it's almost usable now. Never was before, um, on the 18 inch rims anyway. And even on the um, hand coupe tires on the 17s, it always seemed really firm, really bouncy. I mean, I'll stick it into PASM firm now, so you might sense that I'm moving around a bit more, you might hear a bit more road noise, but it's not as bone jarring as it was. So the tyres seem to work really well with that. Right, can we get a chance here? Go. So yeah, so I've got the suspension firm at the moment and it's not too bad. Yeah, you can tell it's firmer, but it's not throwing me all over the place. Overall then, as you might be able to tell, I'm really quite happy with these tyres. are textile pads, OEM equivalent, allegedly. They're not far off brand new, maybe done a couple of thousand road miles. I uh, ran the auto solo with these brakes and after that I thought, do you know what, as a road pad, these are pretty good. They can handle some hard stops. They didn't complain at all in the auto solo. But since I've been driving this enthusiastically shall we say over the last week to get a feel for these tires i've been leaning on the brakes more and as you've heard there i put a bit of effort and energy into them this morning and already they're grumbling they're squealing they drone they make a lot of noise the pedal feel starts to go a little bit now that's not the fluid that's the pad material but yeah they're certainly not up to a track day segues into the next thing that I'll be doing to this car which is going to be a pad change. Uh, I mentioned in my last video I've got Porsche pads, genuine Porsche pads for the rear axle. I'm going to get Porsche pads for the front axle. So my setup this year on track days, two of which I've got booked in August, uh, one at Anglesey, one at Bedford. Yeah, my track day setup is going to be standard Porsche tyres on standard 17 inch rims and standard brakes, genuine Porsche pads. And I think I might try and sneak a half day in at Goodwood if I get a chance. They're fully booked at the moment, but I'm gonna stick my name down on the waiting list for a GRRC day. I do here, what I create, the videos I make, if you appreciate my honesty, the fact that I just talk genuinely about the car that I own, if you appreciate the fact that there's no sponsors, then please give this one a thumbs up, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads, and thank you very, very much for watching.